Hello there, everyone, and welcome to this war of mine. I'm John, and I'm going to take a look at this game today. Um, I picked this up a few days ago. I've played it a bit, and as it turns out, there's, you know, there was a bit to it, and I felt like it'd be better if I got more comfortable with the mechanics before I actually put a recording of this up, but here I am now, and I'm ready for an honest shot at it. So I'm going to dive in, and... Yes, I'm... they're gone. Okay, well, so the idea of this game is you are um, in the midst of a civil war in the city you're living in, and you are, the, you are playing as non-combatants in this war, trying to survive in a besieged city, and here we are on day one. We're going to be arriving at the burned-out destroyed husk of a building that my little merry band of survivors is going to be calling home over the next days. It's where we're going to try to hole up and survive um, as best we can. And that's the goal of this game, is to just survive. And you sometimes you do what you have to do. Sometimes things don't work out for you. It can get kind of rough. I've only gotten to like day four or five, but I've already noticed they can get kind of rough. Alright, well let's see who we've got here. How long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers, shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, there's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out they decided to stick together. They met Pavle while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Pogren's star football player. Holy shit, Pavle. That's awesome. He's going to be very useful then. Because an athlete's definitely going to be useful. Um, now he's just another homeless victim of war, of course. Well, so they teamed up, hoping for the best. Alright. Oh my god, what? Pavle. You're already sick? Ugh, jeez. Okay. Well... What can we do here? Wait, and Bruno is already slightly wounded. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, well, we need to get rolling on doing some things here, so let's see here. Um, Bruno is going to go check out this cabinet. Pavle, I know you're sick, buddy, but... Oh man, we need to get him a bed. ASAP, actually, is what we need to do. But we need materials to get a bed. So for now, Pavle, you're looting. Um, what can you loot? Can you get in here? Let's find out if you can get in there. And, ah, oh, jeez. The problem is, these rubble, this is probably going to be some good materials. The problem is these rubble piles here, though, are very hard to break through without a shovel, I found. Um, and it looks like Pavle needs something to open this lock. What did we have, what do we have right now? Nothing. We are totally broke as shit. Okay, well, now we have a little bit, at least. Um, Pavle, I want you to come down and check out what's in this pile here. Bruno's going to look in this desk. Let's get our bearings in this place, everyone. Because um, it's important to clean up all this mess so we can actually start building something resembling... Oh, look, a lockpick and some food. That's amazing. Okay. But we can start building something resembling an actual, you know, secure base at some point, perhaps. I, I can only hope that this happens. But will it? Who knows? It may not. I may die before that ever becomes a reality, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to go into this room now that I can. Although, that's just a big-ass rubble pile that's got to be dug through. So I'm not sure if I really want to do that. But okay, what have we got here? Good. More components. That's very good. We need those. Um, we've got lots of components and lots of wood now, actually. So, Bruno, let's see if you can't build us a um, a metal a metal smithing bench, I think, is what I need. Oh, and look, even more shit. Awesome. Okay, Bruno, can you do it? It looks like I can. I can build a lot of things right now. Um, I'm going to make this metal workshop, though, for sure. Just put it right here next to the other crafting. Um, and 
Uh, where are you? Marco. I'm going to have you. Uh, I don't want to start digging these normal piles yet, though. Is there anything else I can search? It doesn't look like there particularly is. Um, well, you can break down the door to the medicine cabinet and such, at least, so that we have access to those those storage areas. Have you opened this door now? Oh, good job, Pavle. Even though you're slightly sick, you're doing some good work here. And we're going to get you a bed soon, so you can have you can lay down, you can have you can sleep it off tonight, because um, it looks like Marco's the guy that I want out scavenging. Um, and Pavle may eventually just become my guard, because Bruno, look at this guy. He's a good cook, but he doesn't look like he's going to be all that useful in a fight. Um, so we'll, get, we'll leave Pavle to that kind of thing. Yeah, he's got a nasty headache, though. Well, maybe he can even build a bed right now. And meanwhile, I'm gonna, definitely going to build a shovel. Um, where is it? Here it is. His shovel's going to let me dig through these big-ass rock piles much faster than if I tried to have them do it by hand. Because that's just a disaster if you do that. I tried it one time. It's a disaster. Don't do it. And also, I can send uh, my scavenger out with a shovel to possibly use as a weapon, I think. I've never had to fight anybody on a scavenging run yet, but I get the feeling that that's going to be a thing that happens. Okay. Um, you need a bed. So let's make a bed. So we at least have one of these going. We're going to put it down here, because that looks like a pretty safe spot. And... Okay, so Pavle's going to make his bed, and then he's going to lie in it. So that's good. He'll probably get, he'll probably feel better after lying down for a bit. Um, I think I have two lockpicks now, so I'm going to use one of them to unlock this door up here. And then Bruno's going to use the other one to unlock this door right here. Because then I can dig through this pile with the shovel. Oh, jeez. Bruno is slightly wounded, that's right. He's, it's just a flesh wound, but it hurts, apparently. Poor guy. You'll pull through, buddy. Oh, man. It's a rough ragtag little bunch, but I think it's going to... <laughs> I, think it's, I think these guys can make it. I really hope these guys can make it, honestly. We'll see what happens, though. Because we do kind of lack a... Um, you know what? Dig this pile first. There you go. Because... Oh, no, wait. He has the shovel. Never mind. I'm sorry, Marco. I'm mistaken. Bruno will finish up that pile, and by the time he's done with the pile, you'll have unlocked the door. And you'll have the shovel then, because he'll have, I don't know, thrown it all the way from down there. You know, he just yells, yo, catch, and throws it through all the holes in this house up to Marco. I guess, I guess that's what's happening. I don't know. Well, we're not going to worry about it. Dig that pile up, buddy. Check the cabinet, and even just standing there staring at that bed, Jesus, go to bed. Pavle, go recover. He is he is recovering now. He'll be right as rain in no time. And I'll look at that. This will be useful for trade right here. It's not good for anything else. Um, because, you know, a gemstone in a survival situation, like, you don't need things that are pretty to look at in these kind of situations. You need things that are functional that you can use. Eh, so we'll just give that to a passing trader get rid of it and pick up some materials in exchange and that'll be a much better deal all right marco break through this door bruno um why don't you double time it up here because you're going to you're going to sleep tonight anyway so you can you can work a little harder during the day buddy you know carry your weight everyone else can kind of take their time shamble around because marco's going to be up all night scavenging that's his real job um, oh, good, you're through the door. We'll get that cabinet for me. And pretty soon, it looks like we're getting... No, we're getting into the afternoon now. And... Dig the pile, Bruno, what are you doing? Stop stint, you lazy fucking... I know, it is much easier with your shovel. But... Oh, God, I have to hold this guy's hand to make sure he's doing anything. Oh, no, that's locked. Okay, Marco. Um... I guess you have to go make a lockpick if you can. Because I'd like to see what's in there. That could be good stuff. And if it's medicine, or bandages even, Bruno could definitely use bandages. Because somehow, on the way here, 
he managed to, like, what happened was is they were running into the building here. Bruno, like, tripped and cut his leg on a bit of shrapnel out on the road. And was like, what the fuck, Bruno? Because Bruno's a bit of a klutz, but, you know, he mostly is here because Marco cares about Bruno because they were friends. But Pavle, I would imagine, is probably not the happiest that they're carrying this guy through this thing because he's like, look, this is a survival situation. And in a pinch, um, he's going to be willing probably to throw Bruno under the bus to save his own life, which Marco won't be very happy with. Hopefully it doesn't come to that kind of thing. We'll see what happens, though. But for now, everything is good. Everyone is comfortable. Um, okay. Let's build a lockpick. I think this might be worth it. I'm going to make two of them. Just so I have one to bring out with me tonight. Because I might need one. You never know when you'll need a lockpick. And... What are you doing, Bruno? Um, is there anything else I can make? Can I make a cook stove with what I have left? Because Bruno... The one thing Bruno is very good for is he is an excellent cook. So he will do all of the cooking for my Merry Band of Survivors. And hopefully that will be, you know, enough to prove his usefulness to the others. But we can't make a crude stove at the moment. We need more. We need a lot of components. We've used a lot of components, and we need a lot of components. Well, okay. I guess I'll just have to... Shit. I guess I'll just have to come back to that um, and look for components on my scavenging run. But meanwhile, Bruno, you can start digging out this rubble down here. Don't just stand there, lazing around, chatting up with Marco. Marco's like, dude, I'm making lockpicks. You're distracting me. And so Bruno's going to head down to the basement and clear out that rubble now instead. <laughs> Which is good. Because, oh man, there's this rubble as well. But this is a locked cabinet. And is this a locked cabinet? Oh my god, it is, actually. Um, well, you know what then, Bruno? Dig this rubble first, because you're likely to get to this cabinet by the end of the night. And that's probably not the case over here. You probably wouldn't finish this overnight. Oh man, okay. So Pavle is still sleeping. That's not how I, I thought I was on him. Here's Marco. Marco's heading up here. Let's see if we can't get some bandages out of this bathroom cabinet up here, because that seems seems likely, right? Like, it's a bathroom. There's probably bandages in here. And we can give one of those to Bruno so he can patch himself up and stop whining about that wound on his leg. But also because we don't want it to get infected, because that would just be the end of Bruno. And as much as, you know, I talk about throwing him under the bus, we don't want to lose people. Like, we really don't. It'd be very bad. Come on, Bruno, you can do it. He's prying the cabinet open. He's done it. But Bron oh. Oh, well, there was food up here. That's also good. Um, but it's not what I was hoping for. Well, okay. Maybe Bruno will find something useful down here. Uh, look, medication, at least. Um... So that'll be good for sick people, but not so much for injured people. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, we're running out of things to do around here for the day, it looks like. So Bruno's going to head down. He's going to start clearing up these piles here. And I'll leave this food in the fridge. No one will eat tonight. Because what we really want is we want to have a stove in place before we actually start using the food so we can get better use out of the food, because they won't be very happy about eating raw food, as you would expect. I mean, if you, you know, if you found yourself in this kind of situation tomorrow, and all that was in the fridge was like a pound of ground beef uncooked, you would probably still wait a couple days to see if there was a way you could set up to cook that meat before you got desperate enough to eat it. Um, at least I feel like I would be that way in a survival situation even, you know. Now, had you been in this situation for like a month and you had, you know, barely had any food to eat and and then you're confronted with a fridge and there's, you know, just a slab of beef sitting there, you might just chow down right then. You might dig in. Um, so depending on how long these guys have been stuck, 
in this city, in this siege. You know, they might be that desperate eventually, unfortunately. Oh, jeez, okay. Let's night time. So, tonight, I'm... Pavle is still sick, but I don't want to not have a guard, so I guess Bruno's going to guard tonight. Oh, man, that's... Hmm, that's an interesting choice. Okay, well, Marco's definitely scavenging, though. Um, shelled Cottage. People are fleeing in a hurry, so we may find some useful stuff without meeting anyone. Well, that would be a very good thing. Um, the semi-detached house. There are people living in the other half. Um, and they don't seem friendly. Okay. So we can probably scour the abandoned part for supplies. We are just, no, that's... We don't need to go through too much of a... We don't need to put ourselves at risk too much right now. Um... We could find some useful things in the squad, but let's check out this cottage, I think, first. That's going to be the first thing I go for, and we're going to bring... We're going to bring a shovel, I think. Okay. Let's head out, Marco. Because I'm mostly actually bringing the shovel to clear out any possible rubble piles that I may come across, because I don't think it's likely that I'm going to have to fight anybody on this run. It didn't sound like it, at least. The house is still burning. Is it safe to go inside? Oh, jeez, I don't know, actually. Um, we're going to have to take the risk, though, Marco, because we need this We need this stuff. We can't let it burn down. Well, okay, let's wait. Oh, my God. Oh, that sucks. Um, oh, God. Oh, my God. Whoa. Maybe we don't need to go inside, Marco. Look at all of this. Um, let's take as, as m a bunch of these components, and then a bunch of this wood, and I may just come back by this and fill up the rest, but for now, oops, um, nah, I'm not going to do that. For now, I'm going to leave three slots open. Okay, Marco, let's make a run for it. Let's see if we can get any food out of the kitchen, maybe. Uh, don't. Don't take your time in here, dude. This place is currently burning to the ground, and you don't want to be caught in here when it when it's done. Um, oh, look at that. Lots of food, though. Very good. And I'm going to take the sugar as well. And... Oh, God. And this clean water, for sure, because we're going to want a bunch of clean water. So in that case, I'm going to leave a bit of this wood in the fridge. Um... Because there's probably more useful materials around here. Okay, what's, what's this here? Um, come on, Marco. Oh, jeez, it's getting... The fire's getting worse, I think. Um, nothing good. Oops. No, I don't want that. I don't, I don't need... I don't need those. I have tons of those. Um, okay. What's in the bed, maybe? Wait, what's out back here? Can I get out there? Oh, it looks like I can. Oh, my God. Um, ooh, bandages, that's nice, and herbal meds, already made. Well, I don't think I need those, though, because I think I can make those myself. Okay, run upstairs, Marco. Oh, God, it's on fire currently. Um, run. Uh, what's in this pile? This is dangerous, dude. I should probably get him out of here soon. I'm going to be listening for this. I'm listening for the supports and shit just in case they start to give way. Oh, God, it's a bunch of fucking wood and shit. Okay, what's in here? Um, oh no, it's locked, I can't look in there, oh that sucks, I guess we'll never know if we're going to lose anything in the fire, um, is there something in the bed, maybe, I haven't searched here, no wait, I did search here already, um, okay, just get out, we're going to leave everything that we've left, and we're just going to grab some wood and components from here real quick, um, and I think we're just going to get out of here. Because this place is burning down, and I don't want to be here when it collapses. Just going to grab components. There we go. And just get out, Marco. Well, uh, that, that was the abandoned cottage, everyone. And that was day one. So, thank you, everyone, for watching.
Um, I've been John, this has been This War of Mine, and I hope to see you guys next time.